Okay, let's talk about putting our Google Culture together. These are going to be the steps and some tips about how these mounds, these raised garden beds go together. And then probably in the next videos, I'm gonna show uh, some pictures, maybe some videos of my constructions in the past, my most recent ones. I've been about uh, a couple weeks ago. So um, let's get started. First, you want to gather and organize your materials so that you know kind of what you have on hand, how much of everything. Um, it helps with the layering as you are layering. You know, the wood goes in first, and you're trying to pack all this stuff in together uh, pretty tight, and you're filling in all the gaps with, uh, with all the debris that you have. So you want to have it organized into separate piles just so you can kind of have a visual of what you got. And you're going to outline and then dig your trench. If you're digging a trench, some people like to do them just on top of the ground, and that's fine too. You know, experiment with the, uh, you know, if you don't dig a trench, then you'll have to get the soil from from another place. So there's a lot of things to keep in mind. Um, yeah, just kind of uh, outline it uh, however you want to outline it. You know, you can kind of run a shovel along in the shape and the outline of of the size and shape that you want to do. Um, if, you, if you're on grass or sod or or uh, or there's weeds around, you know, you want to cut that out and kind of you, they can come out in chunks. And then uh, once you've got your once you've got your trench down, um, you know, it depends on how deep you want to make these two. You know, most of mine I like to do maybe a foot down uh, for my trench, but some people make these really big. You know, they might go down two or three feet, you know. But at all layers, I'm kind of putting some good soil on the bottom of the trench and then throughout the layers. And that just adds the microbial life to each layer to get the whole system starting to break down and growing fungus and growing the microbes that are gonna be beneficial to the uh, garden on top. And then you're gonna lay down your largest logs once you have your trench or if you're just starting. And you want to pack these all together, leave as little as little room as possible. And so you'll see pictures of these online or in the next videos I'll show you. And then you want to pack the gaps with leaves, weeds, uh, mulch, and you want to be watering the layers too. Um, just get them damp and uh, start the start the process of the water soaking in, the everything breaking down. That's why you're adding the good compost and the good soil. Just sprinkle a little bit in onto each layer. So this all works together to uh, get the life uh, really exploding early on in your in your mound. And then you're just going to keep layering whatever you got. Uh, going to end up with branches and weeds, leaves, compost. You can kind of think of it as a compost pile in action. You know, you want brown material, you want green material. You have a lot of uh, wood in there, so you want to balance it with some green material. And uh, then at the top, you're going to put the kind of have the smallest twigs, the smallest branches. And then if you had any sod uh, that you cut out from the grass or anything like that, then you're going to put that upside down, actually. And that'll um, all the roots that are around there have all the microbial life that's really beneficial. So right around the root structures. So you're putting that towards the top and then you're going to put your compost or the good soil that you've dug out. That's going to go on top and you want it to be a big uh, four to six inches above um, everything. And uh, so just do your best. You know, these are just kind of guidelines. These are kind of the, uh, the steps that work for me really well. And then um, as you're going through it and layering, you also want to be kind of shaking the pile packing it down a little bit and uh, you know you want to get it because um, it's going to settle as time goes on so you're going to shake it pack it down a little bit and then uh, plant immediately i just throw seeds on it and then kind of throw another layer of maybe a quarter inch of soil at the very end um, but definitely you know you can put starts in you can put um, you know experiment just uh, go for it and uh, so this next section will go over the tips and well I think I'll just go over it now um, so some construction tips 
uh, you want to collect more debris than you think you need because these things, you'll be amazed at uh, the amount of debris, the amount of wood and weeds and leaves that uh, these things take up. And it's really one of my favorite parts, my favorite aspects to these mounds is because they're taking up so much carbon and stuff that would otherwise be, you know, in a burn pile or just uh, considered green waste, which, uh, you know, th this is just way better. Turn it into a garden, you know. And like I said, you want to um, add small amounts of compost and soil or the soil and water. So that'll just break, break down the whole system, start it going throughout all layers start that microbial life growing and, and composting. Um, I always like to use a deep amount of wood chips all around as paths, because that's just gonna help hold the water even more uh, right around your mound and right around the trench if you have a trench. So I do like at least six inches of mulch all around. Just, um, it holds the water and uh, it's just kind of creates this whole system of water holding. Um, at the start, uh, you know, sometimes these, if you're just heaping it on top, um, it can be good to aim for a trapezoid shape because uh, the soil just falls and it can get kind of frustrating if you're doing just like a triangle mound. Um, so, you know, go for a trapezoid early on. And uh, those seem to be pretty effective for me. And uh, if you're kind of, you know, if you don't want to dig down, if you don't want to, um, if you just are starting out with this stuff, then you know, start with a small one, you know, start with a no dig, maybe just do branches and leaves and weeds and then soil, you know, um, try them out and, uh, or try a little pile. So, um, just, just, you know, you don't want to be burned out like on your first one. You don't want to make this go for this huge pile that just takes forever. Um, so any, like, especially in burnout, if you're just starting, like you don't want to, uh, you know, you don't want to annihilate yourselves. That's kind of the last one. But you don't want to make a bad association and, like, work, you know, on these, like, eight hours for your first one and then just be ruined, like, the next couple days. Then you'll get a bad association of uh, building these. And, uh, I've, you know, that that's what happens to a lot of people is they just go for this huge project and then uh, they get burned out on it and then they just quit and never and just neglect it. So, you know, start small, start, uh, you know, these can be a lot of fun too. So get a couple people um, together and, uh, you know, go for it. Um, keep in mind that they shrink and settle as they settle and decompose. These shrink uh, quite a bit. So that's why I say uh, do, you know, collect more debris than you think you need. Um, and then just a simple thing, because it can be a lot of digging and a lot of moving of materials. You know, choke up, choke up on your tools, on your shovel, bend your knees. Like I usually have my shovel like in the middle. I'm like holding it in the middle just for leverage and, you know, just uses less work. Um, and definitely take breaks. I usually do like, uh, I don't know, like 45 minutes of working, moving materials, and then maybe a 10 or 15 minute break. That seems to be pretty good for me. And I usually do like three hour chunks. Um, so yeah, you'll see that in one of my videos where it's like um, I stretched my one build out for like three days because I was um, just kind of getting burned out and I was starting to say screw it and I was just going to leave it uh, leave it low and small and then plant. But, you know, I just was like once I get into, into that mindset, I'm like, all right, I need to back off. I need to, you know, maybe come back the next day or maybe take an hour break or a couple hours. Um, Maybe, uh, you know, grab some lunch or some dinner or whatever, and then come back to it. So, um, yeah, just don't kill yourselves doing these things. Just start small, and, uh, you know, they should be fun. All right, I think that's about it for construction tips. So I hope you got something out of that, and I'll see you in the next videos.